Better check that drink dispenser the next time you're out to eat. Tonight, shocking proof of what's really discovered in that nozzle. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. There is nothing fresh, an inspector says, about the condition of this iced tea nozzle. The inspector's photo is all the Food Patrol needs to spring into action at this Popeyes in San Benito. We want to know who's responsible. Did you see what was in that nozzle? Yes, I saw that. Would you want to drink from that nozzle? No, I would not. Your customers, though, paid for that tea. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> 40 demerits popped up on an end of October city inspection. Prep area mold, expired items, no hand washing, flies, and dirty equipment are just some of the violations listed on the report. The inspector documented the dirty fines with photos. The restaurant on 115 Expressway 83 failed a reinspection as well with 26 demerits. Popeyes finally cleared on November 10th after a three demerit checkup. For this customer, Gary Horner, it's not enough. 40 is pretty bad, especially for a new establishment. It's not like it's been here for years and years and, you know, things happen, but this is a relatively new, a new, it's not good if we don't like dirty dining. Manager Rene Garcia admits mistakes were made, employees reprimanded, he said. His message to customers? I would like to apologize. You know, I know that the inspection makes it look bad, makes me look bad. I have never, ever felt an inspection before. Lole's on 1401 Bray Court near Edinburgh isn't keeping it clean. 35 demerits turned up on an inspection this Tuesday. The business shut down due to the condition of the kitchen, as noted on this health report. Violations included no hot water, cross-contamination of foods, and... <coughs> roaches! They're listed in food, the freezer, and storage. The restaurant was closed when the food patrol came around to question management on cleanliness. Stars drive in on 1121 Central Boulevard scored high demerits too. 31 on an end of October inspection. City photos expose some of the violations. Dead roaches. Bare hand contact on ready to eat foods. A restroom with a sewer smell. And ceiling tiles with signs of mold growth. Manager Gracie Pendleton says a reinspection on Tuesday showed most of the corrections have been made. Paisano's Pizza, 2908 North Clauser in Edinburgh is this week's feature top performer with zero demerits. The Food Patrol personally awards owner Ruben Luna a sticker. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good uh, that we strive to make sure that we keep it clean. Food Patrol fans will benefit too, and I'm not just talking about food from a clean kitchen. Tell them that we'll go ahead and give them a 15% discount for for coming out here and hearing this on the news. See that Food Patrol fans? It pays to keep it clean. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. More top performer sticker winners tonight out of Brownsville, Panda Express, Jason's Deli, Los Fresnos, McDonald's, San Benito, we got the Whataburger, Edinburgh, La Taquiza, and Donna, Pizza Hut, McAllen, Golden Corral, way to go guys, Jack in the Box as well, in Far, Sonic Drive-In, and Burger King. Remember kitchens, keep it clean, we're reporting what's not on the menu. And Food Patrol fans, you have a place to share your restaurant experiences right on my social media pages. To find me on Facebook and Twitter, just search Ryan. And we'll